and everybody from the winter wonderland that is Wisconsin. Um, we, it's like 7.30 and we have made the decision to cancel our family Christmas that's like an hour from here. Um, and this is what it looks like outside. We aren't supposed to get as much. I think three, right? Three inches maybe in here? Yeah. But not an hour from us, they're supposed to get eight. Well, good and the wind. <laughs> We were laughing. The uh, the announcer this morning was talking. She goes, "Oh, and that wind!" It was so funny. The TV announcer. It was funny. You can hear the coffee behind me. So, um, as an update, my sister and her family are in a hotel in Beloit, which is four hours from here. Oh, three. Yeah, and um, they are going to hunker down and wait until like noonish, I think, to leave because. It's supposed to let up by them. Um, my brother Matthew, who's coming from Denver, has a blown tire rod or wheel bearing. They're not sure which yet. In Iowa. So it's not been the very merriest of Christmases yet. But everybody will get here. It's not like it's Christmas Day. They just have to be slow and be safe. Right. So we're just waiting here. But that's the update. This is the Winter Wonderland. You know, if you're home, you don't need to go out today. I recommend you just stay home. Yes. So that's what we're doing. Just staying home. Going on at 8.06 in the morning. Eggs and my leftover potatoes from Friday for Bob. The meat for the lasagna is done. I'm making two lasagnas, actually. This is my breakfast. Whole wheat toast with some peanut butter. Boiling water for lasagna noodles. And getting ready to make no big cheesecakes, which I do have a recipe for. I'll link that below. It was one of my first ones. But anyway, that's what's going on. This whole Bob likes his eggs. Over easy. Which is tricky to do, apparently, when I'm filming. Mm -hmm. There you go. Want them all done with this. I have to clean the bathrooms. Do some laundry. Clean the stove. Oh, so much to do. So, originally, my plan was to, this is my stone, to do one here, 9 by 13 and then I was going to do one in a square, like, foil pan. But they didn't have any square foil pans that were deep enough. So I bought this kind of size, which is, I can't remember what the label said, but it's not a 9 by 13 You can kind of see the size it is. It's smaller than that. Anyway, we have, like, 13 people for dinner. So... That wasn't going to be enough, so I was going to do like it. Okay, so then this one, hey, don't be so sassy. This one says, why aren't you just going to use those two foil pans? And I decided that that made more sense, although I hate it when he's right. It's like vinegar in my mouth. What do you have to say? Suck it up. <laughs> So anyway, I have a little more noodles than I really needed because these only take three in a layer instead of four. But that's okay. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make two of these. So I might have a little too much sauce, but I think it's all going to work out. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks I worry too much. So here's the... It's like I didn't double the recipe that I normally make, but I, um, I did like one and a half. So hopefully this is all going to work out. We had a camera going in this kitchen 24-7 because the stuff that is coming out of this one's mouth today, <sighs> he's driving me crazy. And he, sa and he says, I distinctly remember you telling me that you like it when I sit in the kitchen and talk to you. I'm like, yeah, I like it when you talk to me, but I don't like it when you tell me what to do in my kitchen. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. Mm. It is quarter to nine, by the way. And I am waiting for the sauce to simmer. I usually like to let it simmer for about a half hour. And yes, I set a timer because otherwise I'll forget. Because I'm doing too many things at once. So I gotta go start my laundry. No, I don't. I have to wait for that. <laughs> I have to wait till I shower. Because when I do my laundry, I literally like to wash everything. Like, um, Yeah, that's what's going on. We're trying to remain in good spirits, even though our plans for the day have been ruined. <laughs> but it is what it is, right? It's snowing. You know, Mom read a, or Mom saw, I gotta change arms. Mom saw an article or a report or something 
that said like the most hated phrases of the year. It is what it is, which I say way too much. Um, whatever, that's one of them. Um, just saying, which I say a lot too. That's one of them. There's a lot of them. Can you hear my sauce? It needs to be turned on. It's boiling too much. So yeah, those are some of the most hated phrases. Some days, no matter what you say when you open that mouth of yours, it's just not right. Oh, really? Some days. I don't people don't hear that though, do they? No. They just think you're some princess. I am And princess. I'm evil. I am. That's how they figure this whole relationship. But I'm here to tell you people, it's not all it's cracked up to be. It's not just rosy in this home. Yeah. Nope. You're so full of baloney. Uh -huh. Can't I trade him in? For someone who appreciates the princess that is his? <laughs> So I am making my no-bake cheesecake. I will link the recipe below. And I'm watching Kirsten, and I've said before in my videos that her description of scents crack me up. So let me try to turn this up loud enough that you can hear. On it is this like barn in the woods where it's snowing. And this is what I would picture <laughs> a barn that's not being used, that hasn't been used in years, and when it was used, it was storing farming equipment. This is what it would smell like if None of the snow ever got in, but it was really cold, and you walked in, and that piercing cold Bob's smell. Bob's interested, too. But where I don't know how the hell she knows what that smells met, like. Over time have been weathered. You just swore in my vlog, that, and I can't edit it out. And then there's, like, a tiny bit of cinnamon I in it see. also. So, like, in the, in the barn swears. where there were Something farming likes. equipment that have rusted over, and the wood has been okay. weathered away and eaten. The, this is what I'm talking about with her <laughs> descriptions. And Bob would like to know, Kirsten, how do you know what that smells like? Because he can say that because he grew up on a farm. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, so Kirsten, get back to us on that. So it is 11 o'clock, like eight minutes after 11 o'clock. And I don't know where any of my family are. I, my brother's still in Iowa. <laughs> um, I think they're trying to fix his van so he can get on the road yet today. Um, and my sister is going to be leaving, but sometime between now and um, noon. Now and noon. Um, and yeah, so I have gotten all my bathrooms clean, all my kitchen stuff done, two cheesecakes in the fridge, two, la two lasagnas in the fridge, um, stove cleaned, bathrooms cleaned, did I say that? Yeah. Um, I've gotten my makeup room kind of to the point of where it's ready because I won't be in there because my nephews will be in there sleeping. I'm in the day bed and then the trundle bed underneath. So yeah, progress is being made and now it's time for me to take a shower because I can't deal with myself anymore. But um, <laughs> Bob's outside having a stogie. He's having an early stogie today. <sighs> I love him dearly, but you know, with the stogies, really? So let's go see where, he, I think he's wearing the hat again. Yep, he's wearing the hat again. Is it still snowing? Yeah, um, that looks like more than two inches. Well, or is it just up against the, the garage? The wind blew it up against the garage. How much do you think we got? I think about two inches. Yeah, it's really not that much here, but south of us, it looks south, like it's up already too. yeah, and south of us, they were supposed to get hammered, but we don't know if the hammering actually occurred. So, night. It's like all I can see is like a silhouette of you with that hat. I know. Mhm. Mm Somebody said they wanted to see the. They wanted to see him. Oh, jeez. They wanted to see him snow blowing, but that is not a snow blowing hat. When he goes out to snow blow, we'll, we'll discuss the snow blowing apparel, huh? Yep. All right, look forward to that. Good news, aside from the fact that I've showered. <laughs> um, the, my brother was in this little tiny town in Iowa, and the guy that towed him last night, my brother is bringing a bunch of stuff back here and then taking a bunch of stuff back where he lives. So he had his van and a trailer. And the guy towed his van last night for free, then drove to, the, to his garage, to, brought my brother to a hotel, and then got up really early this morning and fixed it. It was a wheel bearing, I think, and fixed it, and then went to the hotel and picked up my brother and brought him back. So that is really sweet, and Christmas miracles and whatnot. I realize it probably seems silly to you guys, but um, my brother hasn't been home in... Um, two years, I think. So I haven't seen him in a long time, and it just, just kind of been a rough go of it for him. So I'm really thankful that there are good Samaritans out there, and that 
and he he didn't charge him very much at all. He just was was really really kind. So I'm very thankful for that. So that's good news. And I haven't heard from my sister yet, but you know it's still snowing, but it has lessened. I don't think the storm's going to be quite as bad as I thought. So hopefully Matthew will be careful driving and get there safe and sound. So that's an update. I'm not going all the way out there so you can see, but that's why he doesn't wear the big fluffy hat. He wears like that kiosk thing that he wears when he goes hunting. That's loud. But, um, because it blows all over and look at him. He's like the abominable snowman out there. I mean, he's done the whole driveway and it's already covered again. That's not a good sign. He's not going to be happy about that. I already changed my clothes. I was wearing a Packer sweatshirt, but I was hot because I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So I have a like three quarters length Packer shirt on, and um, I'm in my very yellow colored bathroom. I just was curling my hair, and I'm letting the curls just sit there. I'm hoping that I don't normally. Actually, here's a little sneak peek. On Tuesday, my topic Tuesday video is about my hair care, because people have been asking a lot lately. I don't know why. It's my hair's really not that spectacular, but. Um, I'm putting stuff away while I'm talking to you. So people have been asking, so that's on Tuesday, but I have said before that the only way that I can get two days out of my hair, like to do a second day hair that everybody everybody else does, but I don't usually, um, is if it's curly and then the next day I pull it up or pull it back or something like that. So <clears throat> that's what I'm doing today because tomorrow I have a house full and I'm the only one that has to work. I'm going to sit in my bed and talk to you for a minute. I'm the only one that has to work tomorrow, which is slightly annoying. So, I should show you what it looks like out my bedroom window. It's very um, snow globy. It's snow globy. You can tell how bright it is with the snow because I'm all washed up. But, sorry, my hand is over the camera. So, tomorrow morning, everybody will be sleeping in my house because my sister and the boys stay with us. And Bob doesn't have to work, but I do. So, I'm hoping to make as little noise as possible. And I'm going to do my makeup in that orange colored bathroom. <sighs> chair out of here and I have to turn this actually into a bed for people to sleep in so yeah I really I know I showed you guys this in my other video but I do really like that I think it's pretty it's my outfit of the day stylish I know okay so I thought I would just show you guys so this is how I mean these are just my blankets on top of it but the uh, boy every time I turn the camera on my washer dryer is done can you see the snow out there probably not um so this this bed here the second bed it hides under that one and then it pops up so now I have two beds for my nephews. Show you, but I had some chili. <laughs> Bob and I both had some chili. We had some left, and so I heated some up for lunch, and then I froze what was left for next week. Not next week, week after. We got a lot going on this coming week that we have plenty of meals planned for, so I didn't want it to go bad, so I froze it. We're watching, oh, well, you can't see now. We're watching some football, and I'm pretty much done with my chores, so I can chill out a little bit, and I have to get, take care of some YouTube stuff for the week. So, yeah, that's what's going on sure if you guys can tell, but it is, we're watching the Carolina game, and it is just pouring rain, like sheets of rain. Bob said the TV looks like a old gray, and, well, no, not gray and white, black and white TV. Just crazy. I wanted to say before that I forget, I was reading, I've been reading your comments from yesterday's vlog, and um, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for your sweet messages, and even though we weren't able to get together with my aunt today, um... We will, and, and uncle, we will um, for sure try to do that on Friday. So I'll try to take you guys along so that you guys can can meet them. Um, but I wanted to say thank you. Um, your, your comments are so sweet and always make me smile. So thank you. I'd like to report in that my nephews have arrived. And Oliver's <laughs> hanging out with Uncle Bob. Oliver, can you say hi? Wave. Hi. Hi. Yeah, be cute. <laughs> well, you will be eventually. And that's Christopher and my sister and Kevin. <laughs> yeah, well, and we're watching the Steeler game, and they are from Pittsburgh and are, of course, uh, Steeler fans. They just scored a touchdown. Really, buddy? Not in our house. What you doing, O? Can, I, can you show me the picture of what you're building? Oh, cool. That's, big that's, why it's that's pretty cool. You're doing that all by yourself, huh? You're pretty, you're pretty smart. Yeah, mm -hmm. All right, you can go back and do it. I just wanted to see what you were making. What, what number are you on? What step? 19. 
step 19, and how many are there? Actually, in other words, like a, what is it, cheddar uh, and yeah. whole sauerkraut? No, I like sauerkraut. Oh. It's like no, I'm, I'm on like step 17. Oh, step 17. All right. <laughs> and there are 60 steps. That's a lot of steps. <laughs> you can do it, though. To me, it's not a lot of steps. Oh, well, okay, then. I get this, people. She <laughs> just asked me if I wanted to be, be, be in the vlog. I'm the star, right? Oh, jeez. Should I be in it? Well, I'm saying goodbye, so. Goodbye. I hope you had a wonderful day. Everything about today was fantastic, except for the outcome of a certain particular football game, which yeah. we won't mention because there's Steeler fans in the home, too. But... Yeah. <laughs> Oliver liked the ending of the game, didn't you? What? You liked the ending of the game. Steelers won, he, but he was nice and gave me a hug. So I'm going to end the vlog here, um, 7.30, and we are just hanging out. We had some pizza for dinner, and yeah, which is everybody else has off tomorrow, and I have to work. So we will, um, I'm sure we'll check in with you guys before Christmas. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.